Hello, Steve Dennis here today, and we're going to be talking today about steps to developing a growth mindset. Are you ready to grow with me? Well, come on, let's grow. Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm excited to share with you steps to developing a growth mindset. Here's a thought for you. If you put a small value on yourself, rest assured that the world will not raise the price. My friend, your mindset, some of the, some of the things we're going to be talking about today is what my guarantee. You're going to learn something that is going to literally transform the way you think. Let's go ahead and jump in. Step number one, my first step I want to share with you in regards to developing a growth mindset. Number one, embracing challenges and viewing failure as an opportunity for growth is your first step. Okay, real quickly again, embracing that challenge and viewing that failure, viewing it as an opportunity. Now, here's what I mean by that. Here's what I know. When you and I deal with different challenges and even some of those shortcomings in life, they have the potential to either shake you and to continue to shake you or to shape you. You get to decide. <laughs> that's, the, that's the part that's so exciting is that I can decide as to whether or not the challenges, the failures, the shortcomings, are they going to, are they, are they going to shake me and keep shaking me? Or am I going to decide that those situations and circumstances are going to shape me into becoming the next bigger version of myself. Okay. Step number two. Oh, and I love step number two It's one of my all time favorites because step number two literally changed me. It helped me to go from being a person who had low self-esteem, a person who had low, a low self image, and even a person who had low self worth. Step two. Oh, it's very dear to me. I'll make it rhyme. Step two is dear to me. I trust it'll be dear to you. Okay. Here's step two. Step two, cultivating a positive self image and self talk. Let's dig into this a little bit more. Okay. So what, what, I'm, what do I mean by self talk? Do you know that by the time you and I are 17 years old, we have literally heard uh, over 150,000 times to keep this in mind. By the time I'm 17, I've heard over, over 150,000 times of what I can't do. I've heard over 150,000 times, Steve, you can't do this. You can't do it. And this is pretty much true for, for any human being. By the time we're 17, we've heard, no, don't do that or stop this or you can't do this. 150,000 times. By the time we're 17, we've all heard, yes, you can 5,000 times. That has created a strong belief of what you and I can't do. And this is why it's important that we really guard and cultivate a positive, healthy self-talk and a self-image. Here's my point. I mean, let me kind of give you an idea what I mean by that. Okay. So real quickly, how are you thinking? Here's an example. Are you thinking like this? Well, it's about time or I didn't do as much as I should have done. Or um, how about this? That won't, that won't really make a difference. And then lastly, lastly, uh, I'm, it's helpless. I will never succeed. Okay. That's one mode of self-talk. Here's the second one. Here's a better one. Okay. It's good that I did that. I did the right thing. Yay. Good for me. Or every little bit helps. And finally, I'm that much closer to success. Now, out of those two different lists, which one do you kind of fall in the category of? The first list I gave you, if any of that language sounds familiar, then you're in the right spot. Let me tell you why. Because if that's the case, then this is an opportunity for you and I to change that mindset. Here's what I know. When I change my thinking, I also change my talking. And that self-talk has to do with how do you talk to you? How do you talk to yourself? Oftentimes when I'm giving seminars and workshops, I'll ask an audience on a, on a scale of one to 10, what number? 10 being the highest, one being the lowest, what number would you give uh, on how you would rate or grade your own personal private self-talk? My friend, here's what I know, changing that self-talk 
is another way of helping to change that mindset. Number three, you want to also surround yourself with positive and supportive people. And that makes all the difference in the world. When I was a kid, I heard this statement quite a bit from my, from my mom. Birds of a feather, Steve, will flock together. <laughs> Who you hang around the most will determine where you're going in life. I also heard this one. <laughs> this was kind of funny to me, but I heard this one as well. Steve, be careful who you hang around with, because if you hang around with pigs or hang around with dogs, you're going to get fleas. <laughs> and all that was just, those are statements that were challenging me to make sure I'm hanging around people that will help to up level my thinking and not to decrease my thinking. My friend, real quickly, let me give you, a, let me give you another point I want to share with you as I get ready to close this video. Something else that's very near and dear to my heart that will help you and I to cultivate and to develop a, a growth mindset. Now, and again, I'm not going to call it homework, but I will call it life work. Okay. So my last step I want to give you is this and jot this down. If you, if you're, if you're able, to, able to take notes. Okay. I want to encourage you to create a victory log, a victory log. And a victory log is somewhat of a booklet or a log for you to only record your victories. What is it that you do right? What do you, in other words, what are you succeeding in and, and what victories are you experiencing in your personal life, in your professional life? It could be a victory that you've had in your health life. Oh, check this out. A victory that you've had in your mental life. You're thinking differently. You're thinking better. And what I want to encourage you to do is to keep note notations of that. Write those different victories down in your victory log. Here's what I know. And take it from somebody who really dealt with a low self-esteem years ago and low self-image because I fell in the fourth grade. I felt like my life was headed to a dead end. But when I learned the value and the importance of writing down, not what I did wrong and not what I, where I failed, but writing down the things that I did right, writing down the things that I had a victory in that literally over time, check this out. You ready? In 30 days, I could tell that my mindset was shifting to become more of a growth mindset and less of a fixed mindset. My friend, you will always go. You will always go in the direction of your most dominant thought. And I want to encourage you today with this particular teaching in this video to cultivate the dominant thought that you're going somewhere, you're, you're going somewhere, somewhere big and you're developing to get there. You're developing not a fixed mindset, but you're developing a growth mindset, a mindset that is guaranteed to help you to grow and also help you to help others to grow as well. I've enjoyed this video. I hope you have as well. Thank you so very much.